Okay, we're on Kiosk Lake. First time ever. Got here at a good time. Baby fishing. Baby fishing. Okay, we'll try this again. Morning from Kiosk Lake. Our first night. Our first morning. Seven o'clock. We went to bed about nine, between nine and ten. Not sure exactly the time, but and I was up at seven. And the weather's beautiful. Cool, but not cold. And we're off. So one mile bridge, I think they go there or something. Good day, morning. Okay, that kind of I don't want to happen there. Okay, head straight ahead to the portage. Okay, we're coming up the portage to Little Nick. 650 that I wasn't on my radar. Oh well. well we only had two portages, but we had three. Maintenance crew, that's what it is. That's the maintenance crew. Six fifty. On my radar now. Yeah. There's the creek. Okay. Some nice rapids alongside of the trail. This is the little mink or chaos the little mink portage. This is a portage from Kiosk to Little Misty. No little little something. Anyways. First portage done. Yeah, there's a little mink like that. And the portage is very straight across. Okay, we're coming up to the long portage, 1,300 meters to White Birch. 1,300? 1,300. And uh, it's going to be a workout. It's all uphill. Okay, we've got a question of the day. 
Why do they call this tripping when that's the last thing you want to do out here? And ja Jamie will do an editorial on that one of these days. Okay. Okay. That's the end of whatever it's little mink. And yeah, about 400 meter. And this portage is going to be uphill all the way just to home. So. Okay, that's split for the mink, white birch. We're going the longer way. Anyway, here's De here's Jamie in his normal portaging mode. Yeah, see, I carry heavier weight, but I get to uh, yeah. walk for a minute and take two minutes of break. You see the belly? For yeah, every... Uh, that's where he's got <laughs> the extra weight. For Bob, you know, he's packed everything for comfort at camp, and now he's not so comfortable on the trail. I'm not so comfortable. I'm fine. I'm... Actually, we're doing okay. I busted right. your ass up there. Yeah, once we're through yeah. this one, you got almost nothing left. Yeah, I know. So. We got our longest portage for today, 1300. Mm -hmm. We're at the portage from White Birch to Clearwater, 345, and then we're home. This is our home for the night. We haven't found our campsite yet. Here's Jamie at the portage. Yeah, we're done now. Yeah. That's that last portage. Okay, lots of little fish in here. So if Jamie works his ass off, he might be able to catch one. Big one. We're going for a swim. Campfire on clear water. Anyways, we were facing east so we didn't get the sunset. Oh. Good morning. I look for a morning paddle. Got to let Jamie sleep for a little bit longer. Uh, a little bit of shower here. Found it. I was clipped on my life jacket. How I, oh boy, I'm getting old. It's east facing. We didn't get any sunshine this morning, so wasn't any sunshine on this. Okay. You would have got it in me anyway. He looks a little aggressive. I'm not going to mess around with him. Goodbye, campfire. Gotta go up here to two small medium sized portages and you're done. Okay. 360. First portage of the day of two. He didn't put in a brand new bridge here on the portage. And the biggest hill on the portage. Okay, Club Lake. 
Let's go to the cheetah. 245. There's an old uh, lumber building still standing. It's in the lumbering days. Down up the top of Club Lake. Quite the windy little creek. We get to the portage. I think we haven't passed it. There's a waterfall up there. Onto it. Who knows how many people are on that other red site around the other lake? Okay, now this is a portage into mouse from rapid on the portage between. Whatever the two were. <laughs> In the mouse, anyways. Hey, we're on Mouse Lake. Hey, here's our beautiful campsite on what lake we on? Mouse. Mouse. It's the least of the bad. Two good ones and all the rest are crap. We think this used to be a camp of gun some kind. Lumber camp or something. There's an open field over here. I slept okay. Morning from Mouse Lake. Nice foggy. Okay, we're off. That wasn't a challenge and a half. Ooh, glass. Here's Jamie doing his usual. Just sitting in the middle of the lake, putting his heat up. I'm hoping his serp will come along and take his um, his painter and pull him the rest of the way across the lake. They said no surplus service surplus service today. We're on strike. Well, you've been sitting out here, and I'm quite sure you're waiting for me to come along, take your painter, and drag you across, tow you across the lake. No, I'll just wait patiently without getting off. Ah. What a pain in the ass getting that was. Yeah, I, I heard you swear, and I don't know why, but I heard you swear. I rock this way, and I move it this way, and I rock that way, and I move it this way, and I rock, and then I get in. I thought I would clear, get in, and I rock underneath it. I have to get back out. <laughs> and then I get in the boat. And as I get in the boat, this thing stupid hooks around the fucking camera. Oh, it's nice out here, isn't it? It's beautiful out here, isn't it? You can tell I'm carrying the high heavier weight. Because I can just barely keep up here. Oh, I'm just, I'm totally starting to. Yeah. My arms are going, uh, do we gotta do this again? When we get going, you'll be walking faster on the trail. Than you. Yeah, I walk faster, but then I'm gonna do twice as much as you. Three times. Three times. Three times. Well, every minute I walk, I can have a two minute break. Yeah. Talk about a big motivator. <laughs> That's what you... 
Okay, so this is the port longest portage of the trip. When we read that, Mouse to Mink Creek, 1705. And we'll see we come up with this one alive. And that's it for Mouse. We now run Mink Creek. One more short 190 portage and we're into our lake for the day. Once we get in nice and early. Oh, beautiful back here. And we're at the portage. Yee. That looks fun. Yeah, I think I'm getting up right here. Steep uphill right off the bat. And that's over. Big thunder. Last short paddle and we're done for the day. Yeah. Right. Okay, big thunder. And short paddle now and we're done for the day. One of the earliest times you ever got in. Not even 2 o'clock yet. 1.30, 1.45. Should be the campsite right there. Around the other side of the landing. Yes. And it's definitely going to be lunch time and swim time. <laughs> I'm at the beach. <laughs> Did we get a beach? Yeah, right there. It's not huge, but it's a beach. <laughs> and it's sunny. Yeah. And I'm swimming. I've been thinking about this all day. Mm -hmm. And the last two portage ends did not look good for that. Definitely not. Oh. Just park next to me if you want. Go swimming. Oh, I'm not ready yet. Oh, I am. Okay, we're here. Okay, here we are on Big Thunder. A great campsite. We got here like, what time? Two o'clock? Just before two. Just before two, so we've had all afternoon to relax, have a nap, swimming three times. Fishing, exploring. Jamie was fishing and exploring, swimming a couple times, eating. Yeah, we had lunch. Still got supper to go yet. But. And this is the only campsite on this lake, so we're the only ones on this lake. Lots of tent pads. I think I'm going to sleep. It's hot. Maybe sleep with the fly off the tent tonight. And you got a truck back there to the washroom. So there's one, two, three, four, at least four tent pads here. So nice campsite. Beautiful. Lots of firewood. Easy to get. And the piece de resistance. I guess that's what you call it. We got a small, we got a beach, small, but it does a really nice job. Complete with a harbor. Yeah. Harbor for the boat. A beach for the swim. You go on you go down like three feet and it's like a refrigerator. Nice and cool and refreshing. So and we'll probably get a sunset tonight. We'll probably what? Get a sunset. sunset yeah. And you're gonna look at the other way. 
and the poor dog would come in. He's over there somewhere. It was really nice to get in here nice and early, relax, swim, enjoy yourselves. Okay, morning on Big Thunder. Beautiful night, cool. No rain, I slept with the fly off my tent. Probably the first time I've ever done that. It's about the perfect temperature. Got a 1400 meter portage, and that's it for the day. And then we're on a rest day. Heard a couple, well, I heard a wolf last night. And some other big splash, bang, crash, boom, we don't know what it was. But nothing bothered us, so. Ah, it's a beautiful morning. Too bad this wasn't a rest day. We really wish we had a rest day here on here, but it's a book for tonight. It's a beautiful campsite. Definitely come back here again. Other than the two long portages in and out. But I'd like to come in and spend a couple of days here. Okay, this is the portage of Big Thunder to Irritables. 1400 meters. Okay. Cut the canoe in the food barrel to 11 minutes. I'm going back for the pack. And I need a drink real bad. Maybe Radica, they call them. Okay, last look at Big Thunder. Okay, we're just walking back to the canoe. Took the pack straight through. Pack and food barrel, canoe. Whew. To get to this Big Thunder is a workout. It's uphill both ways. To get into it, but coming out is okay. Even the walk back is tearing me out. There's a rock garden here. It is beautiful back here, though. Ah, oh, there she be. Okay, now the work starts. Now once I get this done, we're done for the day other than paddling and finding a campsite. Okay. All right, terribles. You're done for, the, okay. for two days. The rest of today and all tomorrow. Okay, it's 122. This has to be about the earliest we've ever got into camp. That's okay. It's a warm, beautiful, sunny day. This is our home for two days. Today and tomorrow. Oh yeah, garbage. Oh, I love the way people just leave garbage. Half burnt. Not burnt at all. Okay, morning from beautiful Arable Lake. Another beautiful morning. Hopefully the day stays like this. So far. Every day's been great, weather wise. Alright, try again.
Oh, there you are, right by me. It's deeper than my head. You are. You okay? Yep. Camera's getting a good shot of my butt. Well, yeah. go dive if you want. Just be careful. There you go. Always careful. I know. I just like the nag. Jerk. Yeah, the thermal. That was a good dive, dude. Thermal layer. Thermal layer isn't anywhere near as cold as the other one. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Thunder. It might be deeper out, maybe. Yeah. I miss Big Thunder. Yeah. I don't mean to. This is a nice place too. This would definitely be to me the second best site of the trip. Fred is gonna go up for many tours around. See what's back here and over there. Okay, fun and games. That's what this is called. This is a nice beach, just need the campground. Yeah, I know. All right. Self rescue. Actually, we gotta wait for it to come up. There you go. Look how tough one is. Mm. There was deeper back there. Just sideways. Now, just like that. Now you fall in. Now try not to stand on the bottom, although it's hard not to. Well, not much of a sunset, other than the sun is flood red. It's the only sunset I've got a chance to tape. How are we seeing you got now? Morning again for a second morning on Arables. Another beautiful day, a few more clouds. Maybe a chance of rain today, but hopefully not. And moving on to Maple Creek. Hopefully one of them two campsites are good. Okay, what's over here? 170, 170. Okay, this is a short 190 portage from Arables to Maple. Hmm. This one can probably actually take lumber trucks. Oh, that was a nice place for swimming. Ah, it's a little creek that's leading from the portage up to Maple Creek. After losing something somewhere and everything else, it's just one of them mornings.
Okay, Maple Lake. So we thought we'd stop for a swim. Okay. Great area to have a campsite. Wouldn't take much to make it. We were thinking maybe this used to be one, but it was overused and they just shut it down. Okay, portage from Maple Lake to Maple Creek. Small and rapid. Sure is humid today. No, I said there's portage already. Time to camp. Hey, wouldn't be a bad place. So? <laughs> wouldn't be a bad place. I think people probably have camped here before. Yeah, probably. Swimming, nice rocks. Yeah, how many rocks you hit on this portion? One, one. Oh, the, just one on the way through? Yep. Okay, here's the first campsite on the river. Creek, what do you want to call it? I can leave this here and go back and get the pack and then figure something out there. That's quite the portage. Glad I'm not going this way though. I'll show you that a little bit. <sighs> this is all uphill, uphill, uphill now. Ah. Ah. That's a triple going the other way. What? It's a triple going the other way. What do you mean? I'll take the food barrel, then the canoe, then the big barrel. Oops. What? This almost it? Ha <laughs> ha And when you do get to the bottom and you think it should be done, it's not. Yeah. yeah Sorry. I dropped the canoe in the pack at the Campsite? Yeah. It's away from the river. Um, what I'll do is I'll come back, grab the canoe, take it down and go check that other one out, okay? This one might do. Maple Creek, between two of the portages. Here we go. That was a Tim River kind of thing. Yeah, it was. I thought it was. Of course, dogs in between Maple Creek and Maple Creek. And guess what? We finally find maples all over the place. This area is all maple. Yep, we made up our mind. We're going out, or at least going to Kiosk and seeing if we can find one. There. Anyways, very rocky. 
Part house. Oh, now watch what's winning. Okay, I had to at least get one good picture of a waterfall. Hey, watch my job. It's really slippery here. Oh, that looks so inviting. Okay, back on Maple. Yeah, really. Yep. I would think. Hmm? On the crickets, I don't know if you can hear it. I think they're crickets or some kind of frog. Okay, first look at kiosk. It's half my trip done. I gotta go back and do go back for the barrel or the pack now. Okay, back on kiosk. Day early. No surprise there. Still hot and muggy. And I think we're gonna go home the mother hot. Okay, I'll go swimming. I walked out for fucking a hundred feet, no depth. Yeah. So then I thought, okay, I'll sit over here. Got so much sun on me, I'm fucking sweating. Oh. No. So then I'm like, okay, I'll go back on the trail a bit and sit in the shade. <laughs> Five or six fucking mosquitoes came after me. There you go. So I'm like, okay, I'll come out here and I'll get some water, which I still haven't done. No. I haven't really got deep enough yet. No. I know, I need some water too. Oh, I had the canoe just last portage, of course. I just found the sweet spot. I just hung there the whole fucking oh, portage. Nice. nice. Had the strap just right and it just sat right. Going home right now, so I'm gonna go for a bit while I get closer toward the landing. It's Noble Endeavors coming to you. Get ready for some escapades and adventures too. Enjoy the journey and the fun we're bringing.